Not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. Hello, Theo. Yes, hello. Yes, your line has been connected with the investigation department with Social Security. How can I help yeah, you? Yeah, I got a, a voicemail to call this number something about my Social Security number. Being... Oh, okay, let... Uh, pardon me? Let me check out your details. Okay. And can I have your first and the last name who I'm speaking with in the afternoon today? Yes, my first name is Paul, P-A-U-L. Last name Bearer, B-A-R-E-R, -E Paul Bearer. Paul, happy to speak with you in the afternoon. I hope you and your family are good in this pandemic situation in New York. Yeah, yeah, it's all right up here. Okay, let me grab your details real quick. Okay. Yes, Paul, the reason behind calling you today in the afternoon was just to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action which has been filed on your name and your social. And regarding this, we have received an order to suspend your social on the immediate basis because your social has been found suspicious for committing some fraudulent activities in the state house of New Jersey. So are you even aware about the situation? Well, What's no, going I'm on not, with your information? No, I'm in New York. I don't have anything to do with New Jersey. I don't even go to New Jersey. That is the only I don't even like New Jersey. Paul, Paul, that is the only reason the Department of Investigation and the law is calling you because right now your information or about this case, we have not given this in a public record information because we don't have the final answer that who is the person who has done all the criminal activity. Okay, well, so it can be it a matter me. of identity theft as well. It could be, must be because I, I don't even like New Jersey. Okay, so do you have any relatives or have you ever visited in your life in New Jersey? Yeah, I used to live down there. That's why I don't like it. I used to work down there. I worked on the farm. I used to wax the carrots on the carrot farm. And to wax the carrot. So, Paul, can you... Oh, it wasn't good. Can you, can you just let me know, Paul, that before how many years you were living over there? Oh, I lived down there probably 84, 85 in there. I went down there for a couple of years, and, I, and like I said, I worked on that farm, and I waxed the carrot. Okay. So from last 35 years, you are not over there in New no. York. From last 35 years, you are in New York. I'm New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker, born and bred, yes. Okay. And how how old are you right now? I'm 71 years old. Okay. And you live by yourself or you live with your family, Paul? I live with my cousin, Eddie. Okay. See, have you ever lost your wallet or any personal information in 71 years of life? No, I haven't. I've always had my wallet. Have you ever given your personal details to your cousin, your relatives, your friends, or over the phone to any insurance or medical company? Mm. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't think so. I don't think Eddie's and, got it. I don't know. Eddie. And Eddie, do you do Eddie, Eddie, shopping? Eddie, you don't have my social security number, do you? I need goddamn attention! No, you, Eddie. I'm asking a simple question. Uh, no, I guess not. I don't know. Why your cousin is showing this kind of an attitude? This is not the way he should talk well, to you. He, well, he, you see, years ago he, he was working construction. He got hit in the head with a brick, and he's not right. That's why he lives with me. I take care of him kind of. So... I'm sorry to hear that, sir. I'm really sorry, but I didn't... Listen to him. Listen to him. I got to put up with this guy all day long. Can you just do one favor to me? Paul? Eddie, you Eddie, 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 go watch your TV. Go watch your TV. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, because this is a very, se this is a very serious matter, Paul, and that is the reason the department is calling yeah. you. Because right now, your state of New York is not even aware about the situation. So before we give all the details to your state, to the, your local city department, we wanted to contact you so we can come to know what's going on. Okay. So you mean to say, apart from your cousin, you have not given your details to anyone, or even he is not aware about the situation? Well, I don't know. He's he's, I don't think he knows it. I don't know who knows with him. But nobody else does. Okay. Now, Paul, can... Okay, now, Paul, can you just let me know that 
before how many years you got retired, or are you still a working person? No, no, I retired in 2005 when I was 55. So from last 16 years, you are, yeah. So from last 16 years, you are not working. You are just getting the benefits, I'm right? Social Security, yeah, and I get a retirement from the okay. the uh, Kurt Waxers Union. I get a small retirement from them because, I, like I said, I used to wax the carrot. Okay, that's that's absolutely okay. Your social has not got anything with to do with this. All of these things. So what's done is your information is used to misuse your personal details. So that's the reason we are trying to access that. Who the hell is trying to misuse yeah, your details? And they are doing the criminal activity. Oh, who the hell is? So that's the reason. Now, can you just yeah? The, can you just get me a pen and piece of paper because I want you to write down some of the information, which is very important for okay. you right now at the primary starting of the conversation. Okay, let me. Uh Find a piece here. Oh, here's a here's a piece here. I can write on this. Okay, go ahead. Okay, first of all, I want you to write down your case file number under which it has been registered. Okay. It is C for Charlie. A. Yes. A for Apple. Four six eight five three one. Three three. Can you repeat that back to me? C A four six eight five eight three three. Correct. Now you can write down my name. My name is Officer Henry Scott. Okay. Okay. ID number is one six nine four. Okay. Okay, got it. Hello, Henry. Have you written down seven phone numbers? Seven phone numbers? No, you. I didn't get some. Yes, I gave you my name. I, Henry Scott. I know you don't have seven numbers. Henry Scott. Uh huh. One six nine four. C A four six eight five eight three three. That is correct. I gave you the case file number. I gave you my name. I gave you my batch ID. Now there are five allegations under your name. So I'm just trying to make you write down each and every one, and I will explain you what are the relations are along with okay. that. Number one, one, there are seven phone numbers seven under phone your name. Seven phone numbers under my name. Okay. Uh, number two. Number two. There are eight credit cards. Eight credit cards. Okay. Number, number three, three. There are 17 bank accounts. 17. I don't have 17 bank accounts. I got one bank. I know. That is the reason the investigation department is trying to reach you so we can catch the real well, culprit. Okay, okay, because okay. I know this is a matter of identity theft. Don't okay. worry. Now, number, number four. Number four, okay. Money laundering from those money accounts. Money. From those bank accounts. Laundering. How do you spell laundering? Oh, that's okay. You can just write down money. Money laundering or money transfers. Money transfers. Okay. And number five and the last, drug enforcement. Drug enforcement. What drug enforcement got to do with it? I wonder. I will let you know each and everything. That's the reason I told you that I will give you all the information step by step so you don't get yourself confused. Okay. I will give you enough time to ask me as many questions as you have. There will be two federal officers who will be giving you all the paperwork as well. So don't worry about anything. Uh, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and explain you the situation. What is this case all about? And just wanted to let you know that this recording, what we are doing right now, it has been recorded by the two federal officer and one attorney, just because of the reason in future if this case... What attorney, I wonder? Go ahead. Right now, this is a federally recorded line. Yes. There are two federal officers who are listening this conversation along with one attorney. Because if this case goes in the courthouse, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we mm -hmm. can prove by okay. this recording that you are an innocent person. Absolutely, I'm innocent. Because all the allegations, all the proof are against your name. So that is the reason we are using this recording as a proof, as an evidence, uh, that we tried to contact you and you were nice at that yeah, time. I'm, I'm you trying to be nice. You're trying to run away from the... I'm not running away. Yes. I'm right here. Okay. okay, so so the investigation started mm -hmm. under your name when we recovered an abandoned car in the south border of New Jersey. What's on the, what's on the south border of New Jersey? 
when we recovered an abandoned car and the model of that yeah, but car Yeah, what's on the south border of New Jersey? Dark. What's New Jersey run into? Is it uh, Pennsylvania? I am telling you that on the south border well, yeah, of New Jersey... Yeah, but what does the south recovered? border of New Jersey go to? What's it the border of? Is it Pennsylvania? I don't know. You don't know what the south border of New Jersey is? Hmm. Yeah, because of the reason I never lived there. I'm just oh, reading you never, the oh, investigation report okay, for you. Okay, all right. I lived there, and I, I can't even remember what was there. Okay, go ahead. No problem. Okay. And when we recovered the abandoned car, ideal on the streets, when the local authorities reported about that car, they found some blood and drug residues inside the car. Hence, after the investigation, we found that the car was rented under your name and your details. No. Now, there was one address... I never rented the a car in New Jersey. I know. Now, well, when we raided the house in the New Jersey at 9823 Lakeview Parkway by the U.S. Marshals, there was no one inside the house, but the house was rented under your name. And in that house, we found 22 pounds of a cocaine, oh. which is an abusive drug. Along with that, we found out 18 bank documents in that. Along with that, we found out eight credit cards under your name. And all those accounts and all those credit cards under were your name. And we got the bank documents and the bank statements. And all the transactions were made to the narco-trafficking countries like Mexico and Colombia. And that is the reason the federal investigation in the state courthouse of New Jersey, there are two criminal charges pressed against your name, which is drug trafficking and money laundering. And well, that how is come the it's pressed against me if you know it's not me? How, how come you're, it's pressed against me if you know it's not me? I don't get it. Because, okay, okay. Let's say... You have your phone number, 315-8401. Yes. This is your phone number? That's my phone number, yes. It is registered under your name, Paul? Yes, Paul Bearer. Okay, I got your phone and I contacted 10 United States citizens. I abused them, I threatened them, and I just ruined their life by just calling them and messing up with them. Why would you do that? I'm just giving you an example oh. of identity theft. Now, who will be the responsible person for you. that? Of course, I will be. Of course, but your name is on the phone. Oh, I'll just tell them you and did that's it. What has been I'll done. tell them you did it. I didn't do it. You did it. I'll tell them I Henry, Henry that, Scott did it, not Paul Bird. So that's just the thing. Now, we don't know who is the culprit person, and that is the only reason the department is trying to reach you. Because we know that you are a dishonest person. You, we know you are an honest person, right. but we don't know who is dishonest. We don't know either. We don't know who is the culprit. Well, I don't know either. Yeah, so that's the reason. Yeah, so that's the reason we need your cooperation, because it's your information who has been used. Are you getting me, Paul? Yeah, I think so. Okay. okay, so in this case, what we have to do is we have to go ahead and suspend your social right away from your name and we have to issue a new social for you so that we can catch the real suspect as well as we can take your name out of the fraudulent activity. Okay? Eddie, 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 quiet down. I'm on the phone here with Social Security. Oh, boy. Okay. So now, if you agree to cooperate with the investigation department, then I can let you know what best we can do to save yourself from this kind of fraudulent activities before we pass on this information to your state, to your city, to the media people, and in the, the public The media records. people? What do you want to tell the media people for? We don't know. Your social is doing the continuous harm. Yeah, but you can't tell the media people it was me when it wasn't me because then I'll have to sue you. I'll sue you. So are you threatening an officer that you will sue me? Yes, really? I will sue you. I, I have to sue you. If you, you okay. if you put my name in the paper and I didn't do it, I will sue you for incrimination. Okay, so that's the reason we are trying to help okay. you. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, now, you tell me, first of all, how many bank accounts are really under your really, name. Really, I have one bank I use. One bank. And what's the name of that bank? TD Bank. And how many accounts are there with the TD Bank? Savings, checking, or just one? Savings and checking. And a double D. I got the double D for, like, a retirement oh, okay. thing. Double D. 
I like the double D. How many credit cards under your name? I got one, one, one credit card, Mastercard. That's it. And it, it's with which company? It's with Titty Bank. Oh, okay. How many properties are there under your name? Are you a homeowner or you rent an apartment in New York? No, no. I own the house and then Eddie, Eddie lives with me here. Oh, okay. How many vehicles are there under your name? I got one car. I got, I got one car. Okay. It's a 2017, what will be 2017 the balance? DeSoto. Okay. And what will be the balance in your savings account in TD Bank? Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Oh, I'm not asking your account number or routing number. Just want to make sure before we go ahead and freeze all the remaining accounts, apart from TD, because we are going to shut down all the bogus accounts which are running under your name after we talk to you. That's the reason we are calling you. Oh, okay. In my savings, I got probably 5000 Okay. What about the check-in? Probably 2000 Okay. What about the credit card? Credit card? I don't know what you mean. I got a credit card, yeah. What, what will be the balance in the credit card, available limit in the credit card? Zero. So you have used the complete limit? No, I don't know anything. Zero. So what is the total limit of the credit card? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. You are the owner of the credit card and you don't know the limit of credit card, really? Well, no, I don't pay any attention to it. I think it's 3000 I don't use it for buying stuff online and when I go to eBay because... I, I go there to buy the yarn. I get it cheaper there because Eddie makes pot holders with the yarn. He sells them on eBay because it keeps them busy. Okay. Keeps them busy. No, no, Paul, see. Eddie, Eddie, the Eddie. United States. Okay. You are not allowed to keep anything more than $2,000 in your account right now. Whatever what do I do with the rest of it? More than $2,000. I will give you an option okay. if you want to save your hard-earned money yeah. because we are going to freeze all the money apart from the 2000 Okay. If whatever money would be more than 2000 we will froze all your bank accounts. Well, how can so you freeze my you bank accounts so I didn't even do anything? For next 24 hours only. By tomorrow, we will provide you the new social. There will be two officers coming at your place. They will give you all the video recordings. They will show you all the proof, everything. And they will give you the new social, as well as they will give you the $5,000, and then you can deposit the paycheck into your account. Okay? Uh, just a, just so a minute. Will... Eddie, 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 what the hell's the matter? Ah, ah, huh? Ah, ah, ah. Hang on a minute. What the fuck are you doing? Knock it off. I'm on the phone with the social security guy. Oh, okay, go ahead. So the social security officer will give you the $5,000 check. You are not going to send me 5000 on my name. What you are going to do is you are just going to safeguard that $5,000 by converting that money into the safety bond electronic vouchers. What the hell? What the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. I will let you know. That's the reason I'm calling. Okay. You are going to convert your money, which is in the bank. Apart from $5,000, you can keep whatever you have. You have $7,000 in your account. Keep $2,000 as I can it is. keep $2,000. $5,000. What do I do with the other $5,000? I'm yes. confused. Convert, you need to convert those $5,000 into safety bond vouchers. So what will happen What the hell is a safety bond voucher? I don't even know what that is. Never heard of it. I will guide you. I will guide you where you can get it and how you have to get it. Now you tell me how far is your bank right now. How far is my bank? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. How far from what? Your house right now. Oh couple miles okay so just dress up yourself dress up and let me know once you are ready I gotta to put drive. a suit on sorry do i have to put a suit on what do i have to get dressed up for no nope, you can just you have to go to your bank well you said i had to get dressed $5, up you say, i don't want to get dressed up just go to the bank no problem let me know once you are ready to go to the bank i'll guide you what you need to do okay eddie we gotta go to the bank 
okay? No! Oh, I can't leave you here alone, you know that. I don't know how I'm gonna go, Eddie doesn't wanna go. No problem, let me do one thing, let me put your information to your local police department and they will oh, want you that. To take you in the custody. I don't okay? want that. It's up to you, sir. Okay. Eddie, it's up Eddie, to you, sir. Eddie. I'm not forcing Eddie, you. Eddie, what do you got? Eddie, put that away. Put that away. Come out. Come out at this point of time. You there? Yeah. Oh, no, I had. No. No. <sighs> okay, thanks for wasting my time, sir. Thank You're you. welcome, Bye. you scamming bastard. <laughs> the person you are trying to reach is unavailable. Leave your message at the tone. Press pound when finished. Hey, uh, where's, uh, Henry Scott, that fucking idiot? Put him on the phone. Hey, you scamming bastards. The Race Investigation Department of Social Security Administration, how may I assist your call today? Yeah, put that asshole Henry Scott on the phone. 